Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're covering how to detect and remove a virus from your Mac. So it's a common misconception that Mac computers are immune or don't get viruses and Trojans and things like that, but that's not the case at all. Now Macs are known for having well-structured security and privacy settings by default to help protect you against these things. But a virus is very possible, and in today's video, we're gonna help you track it down and get rid of it. Now, before we get into that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. If you're unfamiliar with malware as a term, it is basically short for malicious software. So this is unwanted malicious software that might end up on your computer and attackers will have goals such as stealing your information, compromising your system, or just any malicious activity. So it's definitely not something you want. And there's a few different types. For example, a virus intends to copy itself and insert code into your system. And most common on Mac is what's called a PUP or a potentially unwanted program. These can sometimes make their way onto your system by disguising themselves within totally legitimate applications. So if malware winds up in your Mac, that just means that it's sophisticated enough to make it past the Mac's gatekeeper. So here are some signs that your Mac computer might have a virus. The first and most obvious sign is that it's running slower than it should. So if your processor seems like it's really lagging, nothing on your computer is flowing or being as smooth and fast as it usually is, that's a potential indicator that you might have a virus. Now, another thing that I've personally dealt with on more than one occasion is adware within the browsers. So you're looking for symptoms such as erratic pop-ups in your website. Uh, you'll see things like your Mac has a virus, click here to, to fix. I'm just trying to think of examples that I've seen on my computer. Uh, you know, it'll be pop-ups like you won $500 gift card, click here to claim. Stuff like that is a good indication of malware. And it should be pretty clear that something is wrong if you're just browsing the web and your, your browser is acting very erratic. And another way to tell if you have uh, PUPs or just malware in general is that if you're looking through your files and you see something that you're 100% certain that you did not download. So the first thing that we can use, and this is gonna be especially helpful if you've already identified the malware, is we're gonna use the activity monitor. So we'll click on the spotlight here, and we'll go ahead and pull up the activity monitor. Now, within the activity monitor, we're looking for unfamiliar or potentially suspicious things. It might be hard to spot that, but if you're somewhat familiar with your machine, then it should be possible to find it. So I'm just gonna look through mine here. So again, it might be kind of hard to spot this in here, but for example, uh, I know we have Final Cut, Windows Server, VT Encoder, Screen Capture. These are all processes on my processor that I am familiar with and that I know I'm supposed to be running. If you're suspicious of something in here, you can look up the, the actual process and just see if it's legitimate or if it's supposed to be running. Uh, the next recommendation that we have, this is gonna be a third-party software called Clean My Mac. So Clean My Mac X is legitimate and actually notarized by Apple. And it's a program that is built to extensively search your Mac for potential unwanted and malicious software. So we can run all sorts of scans through this software and it definitely makes it pretty easy to keep track of all of this. However, it's not free. I believe you can do a trial on it. So we'll go ahead and move on to the other steps that we have. And these are all gonna be on Mac by default. So one thing you may wanna do is delete your browser extensions. So here in Safari, we're gonna click over to Safari and click Safari Extensions. Okay, that brought me to the App Store. Uh, we're gonna click Settings, and then here we can click over to Extensions. Now, anything that's in here at all, you may just wanna go ahead and remove. The only thing I have is PayPal Honey, which, it, which I installed by choice, so I'm not concerned about this one, and I'll leave it how it is. Uh, while we're in the browser, we can also manage website data. And it might be helpful to clear and remove all website data. Now, the next thing that we're gonna check is our login items. I'm on Mac OS Ventura. If you're on an older version of Mac, this setting is gonna be found in the Users and Groups tab of your System Preferences. Now, System Preferences is called System Settings, and our setting here is gonna be located in General. So here we have Login Items, 
and you can remove everything from here or you can just remove what may potentially be malicious. Honestly, I don't want these things to fire up whenever I log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And there we go. So we are clear on the login items. And then beneath that, we have allow in the background. So we've got settings for applications that we're gonna to allow to run uh, in the background, which could potentially use our resources. Uh, most of this is gonna be like automatic updating software and whatnot. So I'm actually okay to leave all of these on. Now, the last step that we have for you guys is to actually create an entire new user profile. So in some events, a virus or malware can actually attach itself to a user, and you may want to create a new user instead. So in users and groups, and then what we can do here is we can click on add account in users and groups. We're gonna enter our admin password here, the password for our Mac. And then we just follow this uh, little pop-up menu here, create a new group, create a new user profile, Go in there, set up the user profile. And if you wanna remove the old one, you'll just wanna make sure that you copy all of that data over. So we're kind of just scratching the surface here. Um, in most cases, clean my Mac, login items, and just deleting unwanted files and programs that you're able to find on your computer is gonna solve your problem. If that's not the case, let us know in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now, if you found the video helpful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, check out Indigo Software if you're interested in saving money on a Microsoft software purchase. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.